I try to stop at the Gold Nugget Flea Market in Lambertville, New Jersey every Wednesday morning before work. And Mrs. Magdad and I have wandered over to the Nugget on the weekends a couple times in November. This small collection of gems is my finds from those visits from the end of October into November. I'm trying to be very selective. Many times I leave the Nugget empty-handed. Let me show you what I found. What kind of maniac doesn't have at least a dozen Batmobiles? I asked the vendor about the Batmobile and he told me he wanted to sell both together. I thought six dollars was more than reasonable for the pair. These were both made by Ertl and they're both marked DC Comics 1989. Little Magdad trivia. That's the year I graduated high school. I guess it's in played with condition, but not a lot of paint chipping. And this is the Batwing. Ertl, 1989. It's also in decent shape. Even the flip out wheels are still intact. I've run out of room for more screw holding screwdrivers. So I've been passing them up at the sales. But I didn't have a screw starter this long. So for two bucks, I figured I could squeeze it into the collection. I hope you can see that. It says Ullman Devices Company, Ridgefield, Connecticut, Maine, USA. It's got a magnet on one end and the screw starter on the other. Fifteen inches long. I guess I'm officially collecting these wizard auto wrenches. Since now, I have three of them. The markings are nice and clear. It's not bent. The jaws aren't all mangled up. I couldn't leave it behind for two bucks. I managed to add to my bullet pencil collection. This one's marked Davco, granulated, homogeneous fertilizers. The Davidson Chemical Corp, Baltimore, Maryland. I like the shape of that eraser. And this one, this one's got miles on it. Look at that. That pencil's worn down to a nub. Look at that. That's cool. Someone must have carried this for a long time in their pocket. And this one has the familiar bullet end that holds the pencil. But it's a bat. Does that make it a, a bullet bat? I don't know. The artwork is a a shot of a baseball player there. I don't know if uh, the uniform he has on would date this thing. I'm not, not really that much into baseball, so I'm not sure. And it has a uh, souvenir of Richmond, Indiana. I don't know if there's any baseball significance to Richmond, Indiana. They're famous for baseball. Maybe someone can let us know in the comments. I don't know. I just thought it was neat. When the vendor told me she only wanted three bucks for this old timer Barlow, I couldn't get the money out of my pocket fast enough.
This one's marked Ulster, which I believe dates it to the 1960s. The main blade's in excellent condition. Listen. Hear that? Excellent snap. I think the little blade's just as good. Yeah, the little blade's nice and tight too. What do you think of that one? I found this in a dollar bin. Resto Rob got me interested in these spiral flutes. Check out this green stuff all over the shaft. I think that's fiberglass. That'll be fun to get off. I paid five dollars for this hoping I could fix it. This is a Stanley Yankee number 1530 AX. Look at this fancy thing. It's got all these settings. Plane. Left hand ratchet. Right hand ratchet, right hand double, and lock. So plain, it works like a normal egg beater style, style drill. If I put it on left hand ratchet, right there, now, See that? Let's try right hand ratchet. And this is right hand ratchet. Now if that wasn't cool enough, it's got right hand double. Alright. See how fast that's going? Let me put it back on plane so you can see the difference. And the last setting is lock, which does just what it says, locks it. So all that seems to work. The problem is, is this chuck. Like, all the chuck pieces have fallen inside this housing. They're down in there. The good news is I have this. And this appears to have the exact same chuck. So I'm hoping if I take this broken chuck apart and take this working chuck apart, I can compare them and figure out how to repair the broken one. hopefully. So check this thing out. When I spied this at the bottom of a crate of rusty tools, I thought a tool addicts collection. This is a Van Dial patent adjustable spanner. And this one's a number three. Van Dial's patent was for this extra support for the dynamic jaw. I took a look on eBay and I only found one of these in the sold listings. Apparently it sold for $250.
Now I paid eight dollars for this. So what do you think? Is this a two hundred fifty dollar wrench? Or is it worth the eight bucks I paid for it? I get a kick out of hunting for vintage gems at the Golden Nugget. Let me know in the comments which items you found most interesting. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Mrs. Magdad and I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Now, as you can imagine, Thanksgiving is not Chuck's favorite holiday. What with everyone gathering together to feast on a stuffed bird. So he's already moved on to Christmas.